Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Gardening. Today Chucky and I are here to talk to you about super cheap and affordable garden trellises. In fact, the ones that we're going to show you are actually only going to cost you a dollar. So the first dollar store hack we're going to, trellis hack we're going to show you, are these bad boys right here. Now these are fences actually. They come in three parts, as you can see they attach here. So it comes in three sections. And what I do is I take the three sections apart and I put them in the garden like so. So as you can see, I personally go all the way around. Can you see? Is it too bright out? Let me go on this side. Okay, that's a little bit better. So I come in here and I put them down as a cage. I run them all I don't think I like this. I'm showing you over here because those peas are out of control. These peas are just started. And this is so much easier to see what I'm even trying to tell you. So you put them down in lines. So essentially you're putting them down in lines to act as the trellis against the peas or cucumbers or whatever it is that you have. And then eventually like moving over here this is what happens is a you know the peas and or whatever vegetable that you have start trellising it up it but it it stays contained because if you look down here it literally acts as a wall between whatever it is that's vining and growing and what's next door to it so next door to it i have pepper plants here and nothing's coming over so this is a perfect hack a hack if you're looking for something that comes in an abundance. So like I said, you get three pieces for a dollar at the dollar store. So that works out perfect for you if you have like a small space and you're just looking for something super quick and cheap and comes in bulk. The next dollar store trellis hack are tomato cages. They sell these at the dollar store now. I've seen them at Dollarama and at Dollar Tree. Now I use tomato cages for more than just tomato trellising. In fact, I actually don't use tomato cages on tomatoes. I stake tomatoes. I use these. These are zucchini plants. Now what I do is when the zucchini starts growing, or I actually use them for cucumbers as well, when they start growing at the base of the plant, I just put it right over top. And then as this plant starts to grow, you can start to move these up throughout the ladder. So essentially, this is a perfect example. This zucchini is starting to come out of the garden. When we weed whack, when we cut the grass, I have a male dog who likes to cock his leg on the side of everything. These plants are gonna get it. So I come in and I train them. You would take this and you're gonna essentially put it through the second loop of that tomato cage and it's gonna hold your plants in. So let me just show you here. So, and then this one's starting to grow up here. So you take this one up here and you're gonna, so if you wanted to, you could essentially take all of these leaves and move them. And basically, you don't have to, you can keep these down here because I found in the past just a little caution when using tomato cages on other plants. When I move all of these leaves up to the next tier and I kind of crunching them all together, I found in the past I'm having a little bit of pollination issues. So what I do is I prune my zucchini plants and that's a whole separate video. That scares the crap out of some people. Some people don't like to prune their zucchini plants. I personally will come in and start snipping these tubes off once my fruit starts to form. But right now, we're in the early stages of flowering and pollination, so I don't wanna come in and start pruning just quite yet. But once I start to see a good amounts of fruit on there, I'll come in and I'll start pruning them and actually just get rid of all this. And then the trellis isn't really even needed at that point. The next dollar store trellis hack, super simple. These are bamboo sticks that you can buy. Um, let me just actually go to the shed and I'll show you what you can get for a dollar. So right here is an entire pack of these bamboo sticks. You get all of them. I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. 
They come in this size. Um, they do have a little bit smaller of a size. They have the next size up, which are the tall ones. And then at Dollarama, you get these massive bamboo sticks, um, but these ones are $1.50. So it is a little bit more than a dollar for these ones. But for a dollar, we can create these teepee trellises. So let's go back out here. And that's what I've done here. So these are those cucumelon plants. I'm finding that these aren't these teepee trellises aren't really working for what I want these to do. They're not attaching the way that I want them to. Um, so these would probably be better for cucumber plants. Um, they would be great for pea plants, but for the cucumelons, because they're so tiny and I don't want these little tiny guys sitting on the ground, we're gonna come through and cow trellis them or chicken wire them instead. But for a dollar, you can come in, you get your tie tape, or um, in this case, you don't need to use tie tape because you're not actually tying the plants, you're just tying these stakes. So you could use string or um, burlap even to tie them. And I made teepee trellises. Super easy, you take three to four pieces, tie them at the top and make a teepee. Super simple for a buck. The last dollar store teepee, or sorry, trellis hack that we are going to show you are just simple staking. So like I said, I don't use tomato cages for my tomatoes. I don't like them. I usually grow indeterminate tomatoes. So tomato cages are never tall enough for me anyways. Like it does create a good base, but I just don't like using tomato cages. I'd rather stake them and give them a good, solid, hearty stake all the way up. I will switch to those massive bamboo sticks once this gets too tall because we're already sitting at probably four feet and these are indeterminate tomatoes so they're just gonna keep climbing so I'm gonna need a lot more support than just these sticks but for now I got these tomato sticks these tomato steaks they came in a pack of I think 10 for a dollar and then I use clips just to clip them on and the clips also come in a pack I have them here they come in two different sizes in the pack so they have the big ones and then the smaller ones. The smaller ones are great for when you're just starting out and the bigger ones, obviously, as the plant gets bigger and progresses, then you can use the bigger ones for clamping. I like these. I like the stretch tie tape, but I do like these because I do find, see as you, you get here, I, I just, I like them. I've used clips for years. This one, obviously, this look, look looks pretty old. It probably moved with us. That's how much I use these clips. So. This is another great idea if you're just looking for something on the cheap and you're looking to just stake stuff up as opposed to using an actual cage or trellis or you don't have the space. As you can see, I use them all throughout my tomatoes. Another good dollar store hack for trellising are these bamboo campfire skewers or marshmallow sticks. They come in a 12 pack for a buck and these are great when your plants are first starting. You can snap them into different pieces. You can use them as holes if you wanted to for your potatoes or anything really that vines. So this is an awesome other option for the dollar store. So the other thing I can talk to you about is cow trellising, um, sorry, cow panels. I got this for free from my grandparents. My grandparents give me crap all the time. And this was something that I snagged up immediately when I seen it because this can get really expensive like a 16 foot um, cow paneling cow um, paneling is I think $79.99 at our local TSC so the fact that I got this for nothing is amazing so if you can get cow trellis or um, chicken wire for nothing that's a great option too obviously it's not in our dollar store hacks but um, just something to mention because that's what we're going to do with those cucumelons. I'm going to create like arches above them and let it go haywire. Next year I'm actually considering arching this entire garden bed and letting all of our climbing plants climb completely over it. But again, that's not going to be a dollar store feed. That's going to cost a little bit of cash. So these are our dollar store hacks for our garden. Um, like I said, jam season is coming, so that's going to be our next video. Like and subscribe if you want to learn more about some of my hacks and gardening here in Ontario. Thanks for joining. Bye.